All right, I'm going to drop a hot take that I know a lot of people are going to disagree with, but promise me, a little, little cute little pinky promise, we can maybe even smooch each other afterwards, that you'll watch the entire video before casting aspersions on this hot take. Now, the hot take in question, Amara Vex is probably... I'm going to be very specific with how I craft my words here. The most useless character in the game. The reason I'm saying useless and not worst is because she's obviously got some inherent goodness by being a DPS character, and at least one of the game modes involves just killing people, right? So, in the case of Team Deathmatch, if I see an Amar of X come out, I'm not, like, you know, ripping my team a new one for being rookies uh, and, you know, punching my face because, once again, we have a, a bad team that's going to you know, get clapped or something like that. Um, but the reason I'm saying that she's the most useless of the characters is she doesn't really contribute to winning. The same way Reeve is not really that useful of a character oftentimes, because Reeve is, like, inversely correlated with winning, I think Imara Vex is, you know, doubly as bad, or doubly as useless. And what I mean by not leading to winning... I mean, there is, you know, a certain, uh, one second, just ADHD, kill this guy real quick. There is a certain team comp that is objectively the best for every mode, right? Usually you want tanks, a lot of times you might want mobility, sometimes you might just want pure damage, which is nice. Damage is always juicy, everyone loves damage. Um, but Amara Vex doesn't contribute to winning the way that people... Now, I'll stop being a coward and explain what I mean right now real quick. Let's say you're running... Now, this this is a casual game because I'm just trying to get some footage of the Kyber 1 Amara Vex skin with the really cool gold gun. It's it's lit, you know, I'm, 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 I'm a fan. Um, but if you're in a ranked game where I'm assuming that you care about the outcome of the game... You want to put your team in the best position to win. Now, this is largely an objective game mode, meaning that, you know, you want to accomplish a task to win the game. Unless you're playing Team Deathmatch, of course. Um, and if you do need damage for the purposes of winning the game, oftentimes you're on, say, Vandor or Ewok Village or something like that. Damage, range, mobility, pretty useful. The problem is, Diego does everything Amara Vex does just much better. And if you have a, if you're playing Amara Vex, you likely already have a Diego, which means you're over-indexing on things that your team might not necessarily need to win the game. What I mean by that is, if you go too damage-focused in half the maps, which kind of directly do not go well <laughs> with longer-range characters or characters that are entirely useless up close. You're putting your team at a disadvantage, right? If you're playing Amara Vex, it's probably because someone is already playing Diago and you're over-indexing on damage. If you're playing on Death Star, if you're playing on Vespara, if you're playing on a couple of the, the Moss maps, whether it's the one with the big circle in the middle, the one we just played, or the pod racing one, you know, there's probably better things you could be doing, right? I'll just go into a casual game because I don't want to accidentally rage when my teammates inevitably go AFK or there's a bot or something, and then you'll just see me screaming. Like Vespara Row right here, right? We're playing Power Control. We're playing Vespara Row. Amara Vex could be useful here, but she's going to get outclassed by most of the melee characters, and, you know, I would rather have a Scora. I'd rather have a Zana. I'd rather have a Sentinel, right? This is a close quarters map. I'm going to I'm gonna value, of course, of course, I went to Kamara Vex. <laughs> like, I'm going to value, like, a, you know, a Char or something uh, for close quarters combat. I'll even take a Reeve in this situation. This is a close quarters map, assuming that they don't suck, right? I'll take a Reeve. I'll take a Jedi before I take an Amara Vex. Now, this is a casual game, so I imagine this guy is going to prove me wrong during the video and drop 700,000 kills. Not Korean. I don't think that's Japanese. I'm not actually sure. Is that some sort of Indonesian language? Drop in the comments what a <laughs> what language our Amara Vex is, because clearly I'm an unintellectual heathen who doesn't know what he's talking about. 
But this is a close quarters map, and you're going to want close quarters fighters. You're going to want characters who cannot fall off the map. That would probably be a good idea. You're going to want characters who can deal up close and personal. You're going to want people who can stand on the objective and actually contribute. You're going to want characters who can either lead to survivability or have enough survivability of their own that they don't require a healer to babysit them the whole time. And a Marvex is not any of those things, right? Now, it's not just power control on Vespara. It's a lot of dynamic control in general. Um, Trophy is a great example. Trophy often, as we all know, <laughs> divulges into a uh, who can camp in the base harder than the other team, which is, you know, ex exhilarating gameplay. And more times than not, you're probably coming across a teammate or a team that is not going to be well-coordinated. You need to be incredibly well-coordinated um, to recapture the trophy. I think we all know that. I think we've all had a game where we... Oh, that sucks. We've all had a game where we, let's be honest, have terrible teammates who can't uh, understand that we need to actually hold the objective. And it's, it's, it's disappointing. Now, if you're a Marv X player is good, can you get a couple of frags... Help your team push trophy and probably be in a good place? Maybe. But let's be honest, you're probably not getting that. And if you are, you probably would much rather have a Diago because he can do it infinitely better, right? He doesn't have to be stationary when he ults. Even out of alt, he can headshot for more damage, which means if they have weaker characters who are guarding the area, you know, you can not die as much. And just all around, there's just always a better option than a Mara Vex. Now, the reason I class I, I characterized Amar of X as useless as opposed to bad is that if you are much better than everyone in the lobby, you can you can do good things with Amar of X. I'm not saying that if you play Amar of X, you're going to be completely useless. It's just that game theory optimal, <laughs> there is a better character that you could be playing, and especially a better character that your teammates could be using. I'm going to die here, but I'm just going to come in and start schmacking because I just I just love the char ult. It is so fun. Now, next time I die, or maybe at the end of the game, we'll check what our... There's, there's conveniently an Amara Vex on both teams, which I thought would be hilarious, but actually it's going to turn out to be a good social experiment in uh, how terrible casual players are when you're uh, in the Kyber areas. Now, I don't know if casual has any matchmaking whatsoever. I would probably assume not. Um... Am I gonna? I'm gonna get out healed here. I'm gonna die. That is a good. Uh, oh, never mind. I'm not gonna die. Um, so yeah, I I, I I don't personally see a reasonable argument for Amar of X usefulness. Now, if this was like a six v six game mode, or a, even a five v five, maybe you could say, you know, you have good players. They're they're not gonna insta die. Having extra damage would probably be a good thing. Well, that's just not what the game is. The game is not full of good players. The game is not full of people who don't suck. All right, let's see what happened. Probably going to crash, which means we're not going to be able to look at the stats. And since I don't edit my videos, it'd be absolutely heartbreaking. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Oh, my God, you've got to be kidding me. All right, well, we absolutely dominated. And now we have absolutely no idea how well our Marvex did because you can't actually look at the scoreboard from the match history, which is so annoying. <sighs> it's just the, the problem with blue stacks. Now, one argument that I will theoretically listen to um, is casual players. Now, casual players, meaning players who suck or players who are where the entire lobby is on their phone, I will listen, right? Um, after all, a lot of people are casual and they don't want to be sweaty ranked people like I am in every single game that I touch. So if the argument is Amar of X can do well in casual game modes or special events or whatever, okay, the mobility allows you to get around people who are using their phone and can't move and shoot at the same time, but I personally wouldn't hold myself to the standard of fighting children. I would hope you guys would do the same thing. Let me know. I think Amar of X is the most useless character in the game. Bye-bye.